Hello. I'm going to show you a few things before I get started on the stamping tonight to let everybody get on board this video. Thank you so much for joining me for another Facebook Live. I'm Kelly Atchison. I'm coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin, and I have some great, great ideas to show you tonight. Hi, Ella. Welcome. Claudia, glad you could be here. I have a few housekeeping things that I wanted to let you know about. So I think what I'm going to do is go through that stuff first, and that'll give everybody a chance to um, get on the video so they don't miss anything, right? I hope you guys had a wonderful week. I know that I was very busy this week. Oh, Beth, thank you. My tiara, do not worry. It is right here. Wow, I can't believe I forgot my tiara. There we go, all better, because we always stamp better with the tiara, right? <laughs> so, I had a good week. I got a lot of stuff done, but I just feel like I'm still kind of spinning my wheels. I really need to clean out my um, stamping area, and I still haven't gotten to that. So, I am going to refresh my screen here so I can see everybody that's coming in once I flip this around. So, hang tight. That is not the right Facebook Live. Here we go. I don't know. My internet's been acting kind of funny. Hi, Donna. Hi, Brooke. Brooke is my newest um, demonstrator. Brooke just signed on with me over the weekend. So welcome. I'm glad you're on here. We've got Donna from Ohio. Kathy Miller. Another Donna. Oh, is that the same Donna? I'm sorry. I missed your last name. Shelby, welcome. Um, let me see if I can get... Yeah, for some reason, my Facebook on my laptop is acting silly tonight. Like, I am not... Oh, here we are. <laughs> it's operator error. Mm. Hi, Stacey. Carol. Glad you, could, glad you could join us. Carol's from Pennsylvania. Welcome. We've got Cheryl. Barbara from South Carolina. Okay, now I can see what's going on. All right, here we go. I've got my comments coming in here. So, um, like I said, just a few things I want to tell you about. Um, hi, Francie. Hope you had a great week. My week, um, I got a lot of stamping stuff done, which was really nice because before I quit my job, I really didn't get to do a lot of stamping. I did more computer work. But um, this week, I really got to do a lot of stamping, so that was fun. If you missed it or you're not subscribed to my blog, um, I was in a blog hop on Friday using Brusho and um, the Brusho Crystal Colors. Here's one of the cards that I made, just in case you missed it. Little Mermaid using the Myths Magical Day from the Myths and Magic bundle. And then this was my pride and joy. Ah, Lorraine! Lorraine is watching from the UK and it's like one in the morning there, so she might not be able to stick with us this whole time. But isn't that cool? Somebody said it looked like the dragon, the flame was coming out of the dragon's butt. And so then that would be dragon farts, maybe? <laughs> that is not what I intended. <laughs> but it's a super cool card. I absolutely love this. Oh, I didn't put anything in it, so I shouldn't show you the inside. I haven't decorated the inside yet, but don't worry, because I will. Okay. And then I received a couple cards this week. I just wanted to share them. This one is so stinking cute. And it comes to me from Karen. So thank you, Karen. This is adorable. I love this. I love fun folds like this. And she wrote in a post-it note so I can reuse the card. I love doing that too. It's like recycling, right? And then I got this pretty card from Rose. Rose is one of my demonstrators. And she sent this to me. And she used a piece of designer series paper to write her note on so that I could also reuse her card. So I thought that was really cool. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Charlene. Welcome. And then, let me see. Um, I was busy with stamp clubs this week. I had three of them. One was rescheduled from um, an ice storm. Yay, Wisconsin. Tis the season. And um, today I took Haley out for lunch. It was good to catch up with her. Haley is my daughter that's in college. She is going to be a teacher. So she is in her final semester. Woo! 
and she's student teaching, so I got to go out to lunch with her today and catch up on her life, so that's always amusing. Um, prizes last week. Prizes went out to Linda Darimple of Nina, Wisconsin, Sheila Edwards of Elmira, New York, and Eris Strine of the Villages in Florida. Congrats to you ladies. Hi, Mary Pucker. Welcome. Now, um... This from last Sunday, I drew new names for prizes, and I'm excited. This is the first time I'm announcing them. Sierra Brushud, I know I'm going to slaughter your last name. Sierra is in one of my stamp clubs, and for sharing the video, Sierra is one of my winners. And then I have to tell you some really exciting news. Sierra was at Stamp Club Thursday night, and I can't remember if it was Friday or Saturday, she had a baby. So, welcome a baby girl into the world. Congratulations. I doubt Sierra's going to be watching tonight because I think she has her hands full. But um, she was the winner for sharing the video. Jill Glando from Stafford, Virginia was the winner for comment drawing. Um, and Nancy Taylor of Nina, Wisconsin was the winner for placing an order. So, three winners Congratulations, ladies. I will have um, your prizes going out this week in the mail. Sierra, I think I'm going to put yours in with your order, so you can watch for that in your order from Stamp Club um, Thursday night. And congratulations on that baby if you're watching. Okay. Um, remember, you get prize drawings if you share this video. So share, share, share. Hi, Lisa. Lisa from Texas. Lisa is actually my half-sister. I'm glad you could join tonight. Hi, Diane from Marquette, Michigan. Patty, nice to see you here. Um, share the video. Comment. When you leave comments, I go through and I choose um, a winner from people who are leaving comments. Hi, Mary Olson. Um, and also placing orders. So there's three different ways to win prizes. My host code, when you place your order, you want to use the host code. Oh, this is going to be backwards. I'll wait until I turn my phone around so it's not backwards. But um, when, you, when you use the host code on your order, that's how you get entered into a drawing. So make sure you use my host code. And that will be open till March 3rd. So that is on Saturday. If you order after Saturday, well, Saturday is the last day to order on this week. Anybody ordering on Sunday of next weekend, you'll get put into the next drawing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And I've had people, where do I order? Well, that's a really great question. Kind of important, right? Since this is my job. <laughs> and I love your orders. Um, you're going to go to my blog, www.astampabove.com, and right in the right-hand column, you'll see an online ordering button. If you click on that, it'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store. If you need any help with your orders, too, or if anything's confusing, just let me know. Hi, Rhonda! Um, and I can help you with that. So, um, everyone that places an order before March 1st, so you have until Wednesday, if you place an order from today through Wednesday in my online store using the host code, I will give you a make and take packet for one of the cards I'm going to show you tonight, and I think you're going to be pretty excited about it. I'm kind of giddy with what I came up with. Um, I had a lot of fun. Let's just say there was a lot of giggling in my studio here. And I was alone, so that's a little scary, but you know how it goes. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Mary Lynn. Welcome from Washington. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is I am going to flip my camera around so we can get started. And that means, hi, Barb Newsbaum. I have to kind of situate my laptop here in another place. I moved it from where I had it the last couple times I did live videos because here's the deal. I have it sitting way across my desk. <laughs> I can't see the comments as well. I'm always kind of squinting and kind of reaching over my desk. So I decided to set it over here on my right-hand side where it's a little closer to me and hopefully I can see it better because, well, I'm getting old. Yeah, it happens. All right, let me get this resituated. And then we're going to, if you get motion sickness, hi Robin, thanks, I love my crown too. I'm glad somebody reminded me to put it on. Um, 
if you get motion sickness, you may want to close your eyes for just a few minutes while I flip this phone around. So hang tight. And I'm going to try not to push any buttons and mess this up, right? And we are flipping. Here we go. All right. Pray for me that I do not hit a button. If that ever happens where um, I hit the button and it turns off the live video, what you're going to need to do is click in the left-hand corner of my um, business page, my Facebook page, and that will refresh the screen. So you can tune into the video because I'll have to restart it is what will happen. Okay, so I think this is going to work just fine. And let me see if I can get this centered a little bit. Here's my laptop. I'm sorry that's kind of in the way, but it's how it's going to work best for me. And let me get this out of the way so I can see what's going on. Okay. Do you guys subscribe to Paper Pumpkin? Oh, you know what? Did I have a little problem here? Hang on just a second. I'm having some technical difficulties. There we go. Okay, we're just a... My screen keeps locking up. Are you guys doing okay? I wonder why that's happening. Okay, I think we're good. I think everything's working okay. All right, let me get the tangle of cords out of the way. Do you guys get paper pumpkin? So I just got my paper pumpkin and I thought I'd just show it to you just in case you don't. Paper pumpkin comes in this cute little box every month and it's kind of wrapped up like a Tiffany's present. And next month, we are celebrating five years of paper pumpkin kits. And the really cool thing about that is that there's gonna be an extra special gift in the March kit. Um, and if you subscribe by March 10th, you will be part of that. So you get an extra special gift in the March kit. But here is the paper pumpkin kit for this month. And this might be kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can really see that. But it's got some adorable envelopes. They're lined on the inside with some floral paper. And then it looks like some die cuts here that say, Thank you, friend, and celebrate. And everything comes in a kit. So these are great to travel with, but the only thing you need to make everything in here um, is your stamp, or I'm sorry, your scissors and your glue or adhesive. The first kit that you order actually even comes with the little clear block, so you'll have that too. This makes a great gift idea. And each month you get a stamp and spot. Where's my spot at? It's in here someplace. Oh, maybe I took it out. Did I take it out? Oh yeah, here it is. You get an ink spot. They're different, like you, so you'll accumulate a bunch of different colors, and you always get a stamp set. Um, I'm in a group where we do a blog hop on alternate ideas using these kits, so I'm going to make something completely different from what's in here. And if you follow my blog at www.estampabove.com, you will get to see um, a whole bunch of different ideas using this kit that aren't these ideas. So that's pretty nifty too, right? I'm going to make sure I keep this all together because I will be having some fun with that probably tomorrow. The blog hop, by the way, for the paper pumpkin, I think is on Thursday. Yep, March 1st. So you can watch for that. Okay. I am going to be using a Good Day stamp set. And this is just a cute little set. And what I found when I got it out and was playing with it is you can make some really quick pretty little cards and so this is going to be a really quick little project and we also have these mini embroidery hoops that are just adorable right I'm going to show you something that I made with these and I'm using the Tutti Fruity card pack and envelopes and this is one of the free items you can get during celebration and I've actually cut some of my card bases up and I'm using them, but the card bases are printed on one side and white on the other. You get all these adorable 
envelopes. Aren't they cute? They're just the cutest. I think you get 16 in this pack. And here's the rest of the cards. So I, choose, I chose one of these to do my project today. Again, this whole pack is free with a $50 order during celebration. And I'm going to bring out, this is the card base that I'm gonna use for the card that I'm making. And then I've got some crumb cake and it's just a scrap, so it's not a particular size. Some um, pool party, and this also is pool party, this card base, the pattern on it, and Whisper White. And then I've got a piece of uh, Wood Textures Designer Series paper. And I don't know where my sample is for that. It might be in one of my other bins, but um, I'll show it to you if it is. This is two inches by five and a quarter. And if you saw what I just did here, I'm measuring. I do a lot of measuring when I'm making cards. This is our grid paper. I know I've shown this before in my videos on YouTube, but um, lots of times people don't know. This is available to purchase. It's in the catalog. So if you're going to put an online order in and you'd like some grid paper, just type grid paper in the search engine and it will bring you to this. I think it's $10 and you get this huge pack of paper. It's metric on one side and um, imperial, I think that's what they call it, imperial on the other side. So anyways, back to our project. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do here is I am going to take my designer series paper and I'm gonna do a little stamping on it. And I decided that I needed some baby cards, okay? I've got um, Sierra who just had a baby. I need a card for her. And then I've also got a niece who is going to be having a baby shower pretty soon. So I decided that would be a great idea to make something for her too. So I'm gonna use Pool Party ink here and I'm gonna stamp right on the Wood Textures Designer Series paper. And I love this white wash pattern. Let's make sure I stamp this right side up. This congratulations, you can use any congratulations, but this particular one is coming from um, Flourishing Phrases. So I just went and looked for a congratulations stamp. Let me get that cleaned off right away. And we are going to open up this pristine, brand new bottle of glue. Yay. Hi, Andrea. So glad you could join us. Julie, Patty. Patty from California, I bet you it's nice and warm there. We had rain yesterday. It rained like crazy. It was insane. It's Wisconsin. It's supposed to be snowing, not raining. Okay, here is um, the start of my card. And then the next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to come in. Hang on, let me get this out of the way. I wanted to come in with my silver edged ribbon. Oops, that's the end of it. And I am going to color this to match because I wanted this silver edge on it and we don't have pool party silver edged ribbon. So I'm gonna make some and I'm using my Stampin' Blends. Oh, and I'm sorry to say, I did make this project before I knew Pool Party is on back order right now in the Stampin' Blends, but I do believe that all the other colors are available. So I am apologize for that. It happens. It's a very popular color, and I have to tell you, these Stampin' Blends are the bomb. So the one thing I like about using the Stampin' Blends to color this ribbon is it just kind of... Um, spreads all by itself, which is really nice. Oh, I see I need to make this just a little bit darker here. It spreads all by itself, and you don't have to do the back because it bleeds through. This stuff, alcohol markers, I'm telling you, they are amazing. I'm gonna let this dry just a little bit, and while I'm doing that, we're gonna do a little bit of stamping with an ink pad that I don't have. Why don't I have an ink pad? Oh. Sorry, I was confused. I have an ink pad. <laughs> I didn't look far enough. So I'm just gonna take the little bunny from the Good Day stamp set. What paper am I using, Diane wants to know. I am using the Tutti Fruity cards and envelopes. So here's an envelope. 
Oh, I might need one of these envelopes, right? To go with my card. Let me grab one of those. And then the card base is this printed. These are cards. And this is free during celebration, Diane. So um, it, when you place a $50 order, you can get this pack of cards and envelopes for free. And um, I think you get 16. Let me look on the pack, and I'm pretty sure it's 16. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And it has a matching envelope, so that's super cute. Let me get this closed up. And next, I'm going to take my pool party. Stamp and blend. Oh, and look at these beauties. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, this is what I've resorted to, so I can see the close-up little things. How are we doing so far? Are we doing good? Is everybody... Oh! Your screen is freezing, Lisa? Yeah, you need to click on the refresh button and then click on my video again and that will help. But um, I shouldn't be freezing here. I just got new internet this week, so I'm pretty happy about that. I really cranked up the speed that I am streaming at so it shouldn't be on my end okay the other thing that I want to do here <clears throat> I had this page marked for the cake saray bundle because we are using the framelits and I'm using the framelits with this adorable little tag and I'm just going to cut that out with the big shot so hang tight let me grab my poor abused big shot this thing has been through you know what but it still works and I love it so I'm just gonna put this tag down on here I've got a piece of crumb cake card stock and I'm gonna run that through I'm trying not to wiggle my table too much I'm sorry you guys I don't want to make anybody sick all right let me move this back see if I can drop my plates on the floor like I did last time right okay And here comes my Big Shot die brush. And I'm going to use that because the end, the bottom down here is kind of intricate. And this will get out all those little bits. Look at that. It's just like magic. Oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it. And you want to make sure you get out the bits from here too. So that the next time you go to use it, you won't have any trouble with these cutting out properly. Then I just keep everything right in, and um, this is a paper pumpkin box. Tap it off and I'm ready to go with my next project. It's a pretty nifty way to store this. Okay, we are going to mount our little bunny on a dimensional, and I'm gonna put it right here. Isn't that cute? Love it. Put that right there. And then we are ready to put our ribbon on our card. And I hope this is long enough because I really didn't measure very good. Ooh, this is going to be tight. Dang it. I don't know, you guys. Let's see if I can get this accomplished. I don't think it's going to fly. Oh, hang on. I knew there was a reason. Did you see me put that ribbon down on this cardstock? And then I thought, no, 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 I'm going to be taping it. So I don't need it. It's not going to be a big deal. Yeah, no, not taping it. Okay, so this looks really crummy, but I'll fix it later. And I will take this tape off of here too. So just don't pay attention to that. We'll get this all fixed up. And then I'm going to add a couple dimensionals to my cute little tag here. Um, actually, I'm going to put a dimensional right over the hole. And then I'm going to bring in my glue dots and my bow maker because I'm going to make a triple bow for this. Now, to make a triple bow, I've got my bow jig here. And <coughs> Excuse me, let me get a drink. My throat is kind of got a little tickle in it. Okay, 
So if you guys need a bow jig, I've had lots of people ask me for these. Please pop me an email at kelly at a stamp com, and I will be happy to get you the information on how you can get one. My friend Denise has about 20 of these made up and ready to ship. So if you're interested, just let me know and I will, I will put you in contact with her. But I'm going to make a triple bow. So I'm just going to hold about this much uh, white baker's twine and I'm going to wrap this around here two or three times, however many times you want. And then I am going to go under and back over and we're going to tie this in a single knot right here. And you end up with a perfect little bow every time. Hi, Becky. Glad you could make it. And I'm going to cut this. And then one other thing I want to... Whoops, I'm going to try and cut it with the scissors that are sharp. One other thing you can do with Baker's Twine that just amazes me is you can take it and pull it through your bone folder like your curling ribbon. And do you see how cute that is? How that just curls up like that? Love it. Okay. Here's where the mini glue dot comes in. Lots of times we fight with mini glue dots. They get stuck on our fingers and our fingernails. If you use your bone folder, I don't know why, but for some reason, these glue dots will come right off your bone folder and you don't get stuck to them. So that's kind of cool. And here we go. I'm putting that right on that little hole. Oh my gosh, isn't this cute? Look at that. How cute is that? Okay, so don't pay attention to my ugly bow here. I will post um, all of these cards on my blog at some point this coming week. And I'll make sure that I get a new ribbon going here for this one. So here we go. Here's our little congratulations for our little baby bunny. Isn't that cute? Let's ignore that ribbon. That makes me mad because it really is ugly. But how sweet is that? What do you guys think? Yeah, and you're welcome, Arliss, for that bone folder tip. I know I struggle with glue dots. They get stuck to everything, right? It's insane. So I will find a little greeting to put on the inside of my card to make it super cute, too. But I think my niece is going to love this, and this is perfect for her little boy that she's expecting. Hello, Elaine and Jay. Glad you could join me. How about this one? This one I'm going to give to Sierra for the baby that she just had. And again, I did everything the same except I used the Berry Burst Silver Edged Ribbon. You'll find this in the Occasions Mini Catalog. It's already Berry Burst. Everything else here is the same. I just changed the colors. And here's the envelope that comes with that Tutti Fruity packet. Two super cute little cards using a good day. All right, let me clean this up a little bit because I've got a couple more cards that I want to show you with that stamp set. I always like to kind of sit down with a stamp set and see how much I can do with it. As long as you're already into that mind frame, right? Um, and you've got all this stuff out, so that's good too. Okay, next... I've got a sweet little treat here. And I think what I'm gonna do for my niece's baby shower, I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to get a gift card. She's registered at Target, so I'm gonna get a little gift card for Target and put it in here. And maybe like a pacifier might fit in here or some other little tiny baby item. And I'm going to make a um, pizza box. Where's my other piece? Oh, I think it's right here. Okay, so I've got two pieces here. So I'm going to put one on the inside. And by the way, this is again the Tutti Fruity cards that come in the Tutti Fruity pack. I just cut this up so that it will fit my project. This is three and a half by three and a half inside our little pizza box. And if you miss, miss the pizza boxes, you guys can go back to my um, February 11th video where I showed you a party in a box. So that was kind of cool too. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to close up my little pizza box. These are super cute. And by the way, I will be giving away a pack of these. So make sure you are sharing the video and entering um, comments and all that good stuff. Here we go. 
Then I took my layering circle framelits, and these are the scalloped ones, and I cut out a um, Dazzling Diamonds Shimmer Paper one and a Pool Party one, and I'm going to layer those two together just like this. And then I've got that cute little embroidery hoop that comes in the pack. You get eight of these, two, four, six, eight. Yep, you get eight of these in a pack. Now, how are we gonna attach these? I was thinking about that. I think I'm just gonna use glue dots. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the glue dot and I'm gonna kinda curl it so it's not as wide as if you just picked it up and used it, right? And I'm going to add that to the edge of my embroidery hoop. And then we're gonna kinda grab another one here and I'm gonna curl it up and add that to the edge. There we go, so I've got two here and that should really be sufficient. But because I'm putting this on a box that might get handled a bit more, I should be using my bone folder like I told you guys. Because <laughs> this thing is just like all over the place. Bah. Okay, here we go. Thanks, Julie. The pizza boxes are cute, aren't they? Amy, thank you. My nail polish. This is that new um, SNS, they call it. They paint on a clear polish and then they, no, yeah, they paint on clear polish and they dip your fingers in powder and then they paint clear and they dip in powder and the powder is what's colored and it was just kind of a crazy color and I thought, ooh, I like that. Okay, so I've got this glued together and this glued together. Now I'm just going to bring my embroidery hoop in here and center that over the dazzling diamonds. I've already stamped a little bunny just like I made for my card and I punched that out. And then I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of this. I'm gonna do two here just for stability because it's gonna go inside that embroidery hoop. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this centered on the first time. We'll see how good I am, right? <laughs> that didn't work. Hang on, I've got some tweezers here. If I can find them, I haven't used them in forever. Oh, here's some tweezers. Here we go. This used to be in an old toolkit that we Stampin' Up! used to have. Okay, let's see if I can get this in here. So maybe it'd be better to put the the center part in first. <laughs> oh, and I see I had something on my tweezers. Oh, it's coming off. No big deal. Isn't that stinking adorable? Okay, so before I just go crazy with my stinking adorables, I'm going to put this right on the box. And if Lisa's still watching, this is for Andrea. So that's our niece that's having a baby. And now I'm going to bring out, which is stuck here, the mini dimensionals. You guys, if you don't have any of these little mini dimensionals, you really have to get some. They are stinking adorable, first of all. And you get like, I don't know, 700 in a pack? It's crazy. But I stamped my um, shower greeting. It says, for your shower. Where did that stamp go? Did anybody see it? Oh, no, that's not it. That's my congratulations. Anyways, it's from Teeny Tiny Backgrounds, or Teeny Tiny Wishes, or Teeny Tiny Wishes, sorry. And that's part of this set. This is like a must-have. I have had this forever, and you can see that. Look at how dirty these are. They have been used over and over again. And it fits perfectly in our um, classic label punch, so it's pretty cool. Thanks, Elaine. All right, and I see Brenda's watching. Yay, Brenda, I'm glad you made it on. Brenda was asking me earlier how she got on, and I'm glad she asked because, hey, we don't all know how to do all this stuff. This techie stuff can be tricky, can't it? Okay, oh, here's the stamp. <laughs> Did you guys see it the whole time laying there? <laughs> okay, I need to take a breath, right? <sighs> okay, there we go. Another super cute project. And again, I'm gonna put a gift card in here and maybe a little pacifier or some other little tiny baby things. And this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous with the matching card, right? 
What a cute little gift ensemble. Here, I'm going to cover up that crummy ribbon that I've got to fix. Oh, and by the way, um, I chose crumb cake for this tag because the inside of the envelope is lined with um, crumb cake little scallop stripes. So I thought, oh yeah, crumb cake, crumb cake, that'll look great with this. And I have to say, I think it looked pretty good, right? Turned out pretty sweet. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Stamp is next to the tweezers. <laughs> that was too funny. Okay, I've got a couple more things that I want to show you with um, this particular stamp set. Oops, hang on. I just dropped some paper in an ink pad. Let me get that closed up. All right, then, here we go. We're going to bring this in here. Um... Let's see, I'm gonna put this here and here. I wanted to show you, because this is a cute little stamp set, right? I wanted to show you some easy ideas. Where's my stamp set? Right here. So I'm, I've got a piece of basic black that's four and a quarter by 11, and I scored it at five and a half. And then I've got some white here. This is four by five and a quarter. This is my inside layer. I've already punched out a circle that is one and a half inches. And then I'm using the one and three eighths inch scallop punch. And I stamped it with the just, oh, <laughs> with the think so much. Yes, I can read. With the think so much image here. So we're just going to glue this together. I want to show you a tip about the designer series paper that I'm using because this is a way to whip up a ton of cards. So isn't this cute? This is Kiwis. Who doesn't love Kiwis? Even if you don't like the taste of them, they're super cute. Um, yeah, Shelby, you're not the only one that drops the paper on the ink pads, but usually you only do that after you've got your card all made and you're, you know, it's finished and then you drop it in the ink. That's what usually happens to me. You know how that is. Okay, here comes Tutti Fruity. This is on page 29 in our Occasions mini catalog. And it's got fruity things on one side and then basic images on the other for the most part. And it is so stinking cute. You saw me last week. I made that apple pie card with this. This is just adorable. Who doesn't love those little pineapples? And in the Tutti Fruity bundle is a four pack of um, punches that punch out some fruity images. So that's where that's coming from. Now I'm going to show you what I did with this. I took... This is a six by six, by the way. The Tutti Fruity pack is a six by six pack. Hi, Colleen. And um, <laughs> Becky says, I have three packs of Tutti Fruity and I am not ashamed. <laughs> I hear you, sister. <laughs> okay, so um, what I'm going to do with this is I am going to put it in here and cut it at four. And then we're going to cut this at four five and a quarter. That would be like a card front, right? So what I'm, let's see, this is almost an inch. If we made this, I wonder if I can cut this yet at a half an inch. I doubt that I can really get that. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's good. Okay. Um, let's get back to this. I was just amazed that I could cut that. Sorry, you guys. Squirrel. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is now I'm going to put it in my trimmer and I cut it the wrong way, so that's great, but it'll be okay. I'm going to put it in my trimmer at, at three inches. So I've taken our card front and I cut it at three inches. Then I'm going to take this piece because I want some four inch pieces for the inside layer and I just need those to be half an inch. So I cut that at four and now I'm cutting a half an inch right out of these scraps. Now these we're going to leave alone. We're not going to use those for this particular card, but let me show you how quickly this card is going to go together using the stamp set that makes it so easy. Like I could crank out a ton of these. Oh, you know what? I just messed up again, I think, because I think when I turn this other piece over, it is not going to be going the right way. <laughs> well, we'll have to fix that. 
Where did that paper go? Oh, look. Hang on. <laughs> All is not lost. Make sure you look at the back side of your paper or both sides. Just look at both sides of your paper so you know what you're doing, okay? I just went off on a tangent and wasn't paying attention, and you can see how well that almost worked out for me. Here we go. This is gonna be the inside of my card, and I love to decorate the inside. It should be pretty also, right? I'm gonna trim this off because it's just a little bit long. Okay. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, Mary, I'm sorry if I'm cutting in and out. Um, are you, where are you watching from? Oh, Mary, other Mary, Mary Olson, she pulls this trick true, too. Okay. Yeah, lots of people are saying that um, Facebook is being silly tonight, and it, it really is. I was having some trouble with it myself. Okay, so I really wanted these stripes to go up and down, but we're going to be okay. I'm just going to continue on. What I did is I'm going to put the smaller of my layer that I just cut off of here up here on the top and this other piece on the bottom. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape them together. So I'm just going to turn them over, and both sides are the same, but you know what I mean. And I'm just going to tape them together just like this. And this is going to make it easier when I put this on the front of my card. And then I'm going to take this pretty lemon lime ombre ribbon and I'm going to cut some of that. Did you guys see this lemon lime piece? This is just three quarters of an inch by four. And I'm just going to glue this on to cover my seam. And also just add a little bit of solid color right there. Let me make sure that I'm getting this centered. There we go. Okay, we're going to do our ribbon now. When I get done with this card, we are going to move on to some moving cards. You guys want to make sure you hang around for that because holy cow, I am super excited to show them to you. I was just giggling to myself when I made them and I was playing with them and I was just giggling and I swear if anybody would have been at my house not in this room with me, they would have thought I was completely bonkers. But, you know, it's the little things that make me happy. All right, we're going to take another little piece of this and since it's the end, I'm just going to use all of it, but I would have cut this a little smaller. And you're going to tie a single knot here. Now the nice thing about this is sometimes double knots will make too much bulk in your envelope and you have to pay a little extra postage. But if you do your ribbon like this, cutting it off and taping it on the back, and then you have just a single knot here instead of just instead of wrapping around and doing a double knot, you have less bulk and you're less likely to encounter that problem. And who thinks this is just stinking cute already? You haven't really even done much to it. But I like that I use the black in the background because that really makes the kiwis pop, doesn't it? Okay. Yes, Diane. I love the ombre ribbon too. All right, you guys, we're almost there. We are going to use a couple more dimensionals here. I don't know if you guys can hear my music in the background. Girls Just Want to Have Fun is playing right now by Cindy Lauper. How appropriate is that? I took my stamp and write marker and I colored in these leaves with the lemon lime. You can get a whole pack of our um, new in colors in our markers. What do you think? Super easy, right? A good day is great for quick, easy cards. Quick, easy cards. And would you like to see a couple more? Oh, Elaine, your husband is watching the video. Hi, Mr. Elaine. <laughs> okay. Here comes another one. I think these are guavas, aren't they? These little things. I can't... Papayas? I don't know what they're called. But anyways, they're stinking cute. And again, I just took that front for or five and a quarter by four, cut it at three inches, flipped over one side, and made this cute little card. What do you think? 
super cute. And here comes my last one. The watermelons, again, I just cut that at three, flipped it over. I've got our eighth inch red ribbon here and I ran two strips across. And I used a one inch punch on these two for the middle because you can stamp it twice and then just punch out the middle like I did. Super cute. And now I've got such just some great general cards to send out using this Tutti Frutti paper. So let's do a little bit of a recap here. Hang on, and I forgot to do one thing on my bunny card, and I do have to show you because it is stinking adorable. So let's bring our little bunny back here, and let's give that bunny a little bit of Wink of Stella. And I'm just going to paint that on the bunny. And I don't know if you can see it, but it makes the bunny glimmer. Super, super cute. And I forgot to do that here. Now, if you order a Wink of Stella marker, it comes with a little black band around in here. You have to screw that, screw the top off, take that band out, throw it away. And then you can see the barrel. You squeeze it and the barrel will fill up with the beautiful glitter juice. I don't know what this is, but it's beautiful glitter juice. And you can make all kinds of stuff. Glimmer and sparkle. Love it. What do you guys think? Are these not cute? Quick and easy little cards. Oops, I see I missed a piece there. Hang on, I'm kind of anal about things like that. Let me tip that one in the light. Mm. All right, here we go. You've got one, two, three, four, five cards and a pizza box using the A Good Day stamp set with the scallop punches. This is a really, really good purchase if you need to order something that's quick and easy for quick and easy cards. Very, very cute. Okay, are you ready to see the moving cards? I hope you're ready because I can't hardly wait. Let me get some of this stuff cleaned up. Like, I sent out Snapchat videos of my moving cards yesterday, and as I'm videotaping them and sending them to my friends, I am laughing out loud in the background of the video because they were so cool. All right, let's see. I have to get some of this stuff picked up so that I don't be tripping over things. We don't want me to get, break my neck or something. All right. Yeah, Arliss, you're right. That Wink of Stella does dry immediately. It dries very quickly. All right, you guys. What? Okay, so I was thinking about this song as I was doing this because it's been a very long time since I made one of these cards. And hang on just a second. I'm going to be using the Epic Celebration stamp set. This is actually a celebration freebie. You can get this free with your $50 order. And if you've been out there perusing Pinterest, you have seen a lot of amazing cards using this stamp set. At first, when I first saw it, I was like, yeah, that's cute. But then, holy cow, I've really been having fun with it. All right, so we're going to bring in some punches and some more Stampin' Blends. Oh, there's my scissors. I don't know what I did with my scissors. I've got our foam adhesive strips here. I don't know what the pokey tool is for, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. And we're going to be using some of our metallic enamel shapes, so that's cool too. All right. <laughs> this is so cool. I can't hardly wait. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to do dimensions first. We've got four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. And I'm just going to burnish that edge good. Then we've got a piece of basic gray. This is five by three and a quarter. This is the designer series paper. Let me grab that quick. That's called Bubbles and Fizz. Oh, this is not the right pack. Here we go. Bubbles and Fizz. I've already used up a whole pack of this, so um, just some really, really super cute paper. And again, this is free during celebration. It matches our bubbles, 
I can't remember what that stamp set is called. Bubbles and Fizz. Um, we've got a stamp set and frame. Let's look at the bottle caps. Super cute. On the back of this striped paper is this pretty Bermuda Bay with the stars. But this 12 by 12, you get two sheets of each double-sided design, is free with a $50 order. So that's where this is coming from. This is four by five and a quarter. And then I've just got a scrap of it that I need for some punching. The inside layer is four by five and a quarter. And then I've got this layer is a scrap of Whisper White. And I'm using basic gray ink. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take the five by three and a quarter inch basic gray layer and I'm going to stamp it with the here's to an epic celebration. So let's see how good I can do this on camera. Okay, and I am just going to stamp, 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 just like I'm kind of going in a line. And now I'm going to go in between. So you've got these two and I'm going in between. And I love to do this with word stamps because you're making your own background paper is what you're doing. And I just think it's a cool look. And you just keep, well, there's not gonna be anything there. You just kind of keep going. Just like that. And let's see if we can put something there. Yeah, we're fine, right? Okay. Let me get this cleaned off. And let me take a drink. My mouth, my throat's getting dry again. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. And just for the record, I'm only drinking Pepsi. So <laughs> that could have a lot to do with my hyper caffeine. Woo, love it. All right, here is our classic label punch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this all the way in to this piece of cardstock, all the way in so it's straight, and I'm going to stop about, I'd say this is a quarter inch from the edge here. So I'm holding it all the way in and I'm going to punch. And now I'm going to move it over here so I'm a quarter of an inch from the other end, again holding it in here straight, and I'm going to punch it. Now here's the trick. You're going to turn your paper around and you're going to do this again. Now when you push this in, it is only going to cut off a little tiny sliver on the edge. The reason why I'm doing this is for this card that we're making, we need this channel to be just a little bit wider than this punch. So I sat down and I figured out how wide I needed this piece to be to be able to punch once and turn it around and just punch a sliver out again. So that's how I came up with this idea. So just so you know, if you wanted to do some different dimensions, that's how you would come up with this idea. And again, I'm just cutting out that little sliver. Do you guys have any idea what I'm doing here? So I was thinking about this song today. Remember the song, I'm bringing sexy back? Well, I'm not gonna sing it for you because, well, you guys would all stop um, watching the video and I don't want that to happen if I broke out into song because I am not not a good singer did you guys happen to see? oh here we go I've got a couple pennies here and this is what we're gonna make we are going to make a spinner card so um, I'm bringing spinners back do 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 remember that song that's all I could think about today when I was, oh, let me stop talking. Um, put a dimensional in between your pennies and then stack your pennies on top of each other, okay? So you've got two pennies. But anyways, we used to make spinner cards a, a long time ago and um, I haven't seen them in a very long time. So I'm like, ah, let's do that. Let's bring spinner cards back, right? Okay, this is the, um, what is this called? Does anybody remember what this is called? Medallion punch? It's in the big catalog. I'm using some silver glimmer paper and I'm gonna punch that out. Then I am going to, hang on a second. I am going to take some mini glue dots. I didn't want this card to get too tall. So rather than using dimensional to attach this to my pennies, I am going to use 
some mini glue dots. And I'm just gonna stick my penny on there and I'm gonna use three of them because I want this to be really secure. So I'm just pulling three mini glue dots off and putting it on my penny. Then I'm gonna take my penny, pennies I should say, I'm going to slide them down into this channel and bring this up. And now you're gonna have your pennies right in here and they're gonna slide back and forth. Becky, the little stampers don't know how to act, you little stampers. <laughs> Becky, you're funny. Okay, now I'm going to center this on my pennies. Push that down. Okay, are you ready for some more coolness? Where did that scrap of white go? Did you guys see it? I, oh, here it is. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to take my cute little guitar here. And I'm going to stamp that on my Whisper White scrap. Isn't that cute? And I use the basic gray. Oh, you know what? I can't do that. I need to do that in um, Memento because I'm going to color this with um, the Stampin' Blends, and you must have Memento ink to color with the alcohol markers. The other kinds of ink will bleed. So I'm just gonna stamp that on the other side. That's why they have two sides, two cardstock, isn't that right? Starburst Punch, thank you, Darlene. Starburst Punch, that's exactly what it is. All right, now I'm gonna do just a little bit of coloring. I'm taking the Light Smoky Slate and I'm going to color the strings here. And then I'm going to take my dark Bermuda Bay and I'm gonna kinda just run around the edge of my guitar because this is where I'm gonna put my shading in. And I just think shading should go around the edge of a guitar. I'm not really sure exactly what should be shaded here because I am not an artist, if you know what I mean. Artists know about where should the shading be. I don't know, but it looks good on the outside and that's what I'm gonna roll with. And we're gonna color this in. And then I'm going to color in these things. Who knows what these things on a guitar are called? Here's your twi trivia question for the evening. And I'm asking because I have no idea. <laughs> no clue. I actually have a guitar upstairs under the bed in the spare room that was given to us. I think it was given to Haley by her brother. And she actually used it when she was in college in Madison because she took a guitar class at a private college. <laughs> can you can you hear the little bit of oh my gosh in my voice there? She took a guitar class at a private college. Hmm. I said, when she first started that class, I said, she better come out of there playing like Led Zeppelin. That's all I got to say. <laughs> okay, here we go. We are going to quickly cut this out. Now, Lisa Vanden Nelson, if you are still with us, I know you said you were having some problems. This is an easy little thing to cut out. Lisa doesn't like to cut stuff out. I'm sure you could handle this. I know she could handle. She's not bad at cutting out. She just doesn't like to do it. Well, maybe she's bad. I don't know. Lisa, are you bad? I don't think she's bad at cutting stuff out. I just think she doesn't like to cut things out. But this is pretty easy to cut out. And remember, this is a free stamp set during celebration. So when you put in a $50 order, you can choose this for free. And I had somebody last week that asked me, why are some of my stamps wood, like these, and some are, um, these are called clear mount. Why wood and why clear mount? Well, I order the wood sometimes. It depends on what the stamp set is, especially if it's gonna go with a punch. Then I don't really need to see through that block, the clear acrylic block to, for placement purposes because I'm just gonna stamp it and then I'm gonna punch it, right? And sometimes I do it because I hold some pretty big stamping events and um, sometimes I run out of blocks, if you know what I mean. So it's nice to have some wood stamps too. So it just depends, it depends. And the wood is a little, it costs a little bit more, but it's worth it. So, okay, here we go. Are you ready for this? So this idea just came to me. I'm not really sure why it, well, I started making a different card. 
Okay, I'm gonna put a dimensional right here on the guitar. Actually, I'm gonna stack it with two. Not side, not on top of each other, but two, two dimensionals because I want it to stay where it needs to be. So what was I talking about? Oh, Lisa says her hands shake and she doesn't cut very well. Well, there you go. <gasps> Donnell, Donella, they are frets, that is right. Okay, so I'm gonna take my guitar and I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, are we ready now? Okay, so I don't wanna do anything with that till I get this whole thing done so you can go ooh and ah. All right, so this card I'm going to make into a birthday card and I'm going to bring my gray ink back in here and I'm gonna stamp my little happy birthday here. Oh, that's so cute. And again, you guys, I am using the teeny tiny wishes that I keep wanting to call itty bitty something or another's, but teeny tiny wishes has a gazillion little things in it. And it's perfect with this classic label punch. So I'm gonna bring that in here and I'm going to punch off my happy birthday. Okay. Then, let's see, I'm gonna use some little dimensionals again. I'm gonna use a couple of them. So we're gonna do one here and one here. And then here comes those metallic enamel shapes. You get a sheet of gold dots in varying sizes, hearts and stars, and you get a sheet of silver. And since I use the silver glimmer paper here, I'm going to use a silver star and don't you love how things all kind of coordinate? Because I've got stars on my paper. Now I'm gonna put a star embellishment on here. And I'm gonna put this right on the end of my greeting. Oops, hang on. There we go. There's our cute little star. I'm gonna pull the backing off of here. First of all, I wanna make sure that this edge is straight. And it looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, the Royals are on. I haven't heard this song in so long. Okay. Oops, sorry, here we go. This goes on here. And you need to put this pretty close to the bottom because you don't want it to interfere with this starburst. Is that what we call this, starburst punch? See my, see my, um, my memory span is really bad. Is that good? Okay, it is. All right, we're ready. Hang on. You're going to love this. Oops. <laughs> There's my first oopsie. No glue. No glue on this layer. We're going to put glue on this layer and put it on our card front. Okay, here we go. We are almost to the finish line with this adorable card. Now we're going to bring out our foam adhesive strips. And these are really, really long, so you can do a lot of cool stuff with them. Like you can put them in shapes, circles, squares, whatever you need. They're very long. And I'm going to put these on the back of our penny layer. So I'm going to I'm gonna put one a little bit away from the penny. You don't want it touching the penny because you don't want to interfere with what it's gonna do here. And we're gonna put another one right here, just for stability. I'm gonna cut this off because I don't want to see it in the front. And I'm gonna, here I've got some pieces here that I'm gonna use. Lots of times I'll just cut them right on the paper and that just makes it easier to deal with them. Well, isn't that funny? My TV just shut right off. Uh-oh. Um, it says I have no signal on my TV, you guys. I hope I don't lose you. If I lose you on this live feed, you are going to need to click on the name of my Facebook page to refresh the page once I come back live if anything happens. I think we're still okay here. But why did my cable go out? That's crazy. Okay, I'm peeling the backing off of all of these. 
I loved when they came out with these foam adhesive strips because now you can make shaker cards. You can use them for a whole bunch of different stuff. Now, somebody might ask, why didn't I put dimensionals on the outside here? These foam adhesive strips are just a little bit thicker than our dimensionals are, and I want everything to be the same height. All right, here we go. And I'm just going to set this. Oh, I'm going to need that to be a little bit. I'm going to make sure that I get this centered on here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I've got one more thing to do. One more thing before I show, these, show you the fabulousness. I'm going to put your awesome right here and then I'm going to bring in the um, headphones and I'm going to stamp them right here and I use memento ink for that so that I could color them in with my blends and again I'm using these blends because they do not leave little scribble scribble marks like regular markers do. That's why I do not like to color bigger areas like this with a marker because it leaves little kid scribble marks and I really don't like my stuff looking like a child colored it. How about that? Okay, so now we're ready. Now I'm ready for the big reveal. Let me get this inside my card. Mm, this new glue is wonderful. Here we go. What do you guys think so far? Are you ready? <laughs> okay, get ready. Let's make it do its thing. Okay, so I have to hold it at a certain angle to do this. What do you guys think? <laughs> it is a spinning card. It's called a spinner card. And these were super popular many years ago when we had our word window punch and we don't have that punch anymore so we quit making them but now you can do them with the classic label punch pretty cool huh love this I was super excited when I came up with this so this one is a graduation card and I made this for my nephew he will be at some point graduating from college he just kind of started but I'm saving this for him so um, again fun spinner card and this is perfect for a boy or a girl. I mean, you, it's boy colors, kind of. You can make it in girl colors, too. So what do you guys think? Super cute? All right. I have another card to show you. I think this one will be a lot quicker, too. Let me get my stamps cleaned off here. Sorry if I'm bouncing my camera. Let me clean up my mess just a little bit. And I don't know if I'll need these markers again. Let's put this down. All right. We have some fun stuff to do yet. Now I've got another glitzy card that I am going to show you how to make. This one is faster. What time is it? 7.07, .07. okay, I'm coming up on, should be done here pretty soon. Whoops, just lost an ink pad, hang on. Clear my mess out here. I'm gonna be using some punches. And that stylized birthday stamp. I love that one. It's one of my favorites. Here we go. We are ready to rock and roll. So this card uses the green, the lemon lime twist from the Miss and Magic 6x6 Glimmer Paper. This is on page 37 in the catalog. And I believe, how many sheets of this do you get of each one? 
Um, there's 24 sheets in here. So, 1, 2, 3 divided by 24. Is that 6? Ooh, math is hard, right? I think it's 6. So, this paper is gorgeous. And a lot of times, people are missing this paper. Um, because it really isn't highlighted. But it's right here in the Myths and Magic. So, don't forget about the glimmer paper there. All right. We are going to... Use Oh, we're also using the Petal Passion Designer Series paper on page 23. And oh my gosh, you guys, this paper is so, so gorgeous. I am probably going to do a whole class on this paper, like a bunch of different things. I don't know, but I can't wait to start really using it. Um, I haven't really done much with it. All right, here we go. We have a lemon lime card base. This is four and a quarter by 11. Let me get this out of the way. And then we have a piece of Whisper White that is three and a quarter by four. A piece of the designer series paper with the stripes on it that is four by five and a quarter. And I can actually put that right on my card front here. And I love lemon lime and the black and white. Isn't that pretty? Those kiwi. Um, that Kiwi card had a lot of that color in it, too. Where did I put all those cards? Hmm. Oh, they're over there. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> I know, you weren't worried, right? And then I've got some black scraps. This is our two and a quarter inch circle punch, and I'm just going to punch out a black circle. There's a little story behind this card, so hang tight with me. I'm using the um, Memento Black ink, and again, this here's to an epic celebration. I'm going to stamp that, and then I'm going to punch that out with the, um, let's see, where's, I've got another circle punch. Oh, I think I used it. Yep, I used it in that first card that I made. So I'm going to punch that out with the one and a quarter inch circle punch. Just like that and then I'm going to take some of this lemon lime twist I should say lemon lime glimmer paper and punch out a one and three eighths inch circle <clears throat> excuse me okay mini glue dots again where did those go right here Yeah, Denise, I love to color. Denise is saying she loves to color this paper with the Stampin' Blends. It is beautiful. And it's a lot of fun to color it, too. It's like an adult coloring book. Okay, mini glue dots on the back of that, just because they're going to stick better to this glimmer paper than our glue or adhesive would. The next thing that I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is I'm going to cut out just a circle of black. This is three quarters inch. It doesn't really matter how big it is, but it just needs to cover up the hole that we're going to punch in the middle of this. And who knows who's figured out what I'm making here. Has anybody figured out what I'm making here? <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got um, an eighth inch hole punch here. And I'm just going to push it in all the way and punch a hole right in the middle. Who knows what I'm making here yet? Anybody? I'm going to add some glue to the back here. And now I'm going to put this black piece right on there. I'm just covering up that hole so that it looks black here and it's not see-through. Because we're going to put a dimensional on the back of here. And I don't want to see that dimensional through the front. And it is a 45 record. Way to go, you guys. Um, so that's exactly what it is. All right, next, as long as we're working here, I am going to decorate the inside of my card. This is Lemon Lime Twist and the Stylized Birthday Stamp. This is a single stamp that Stampin' Up! sells. And if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend you get on over to my store and buy yourself one because I use this constantly. So there we've got a fun, happy birthday. And then we're going to bring in that guitar again. And I am going to 
stamp a guitar right here. How cool is that? Isn't that just fun? I think it's just fun. All right, hang tight. I've got to find my glue. Here it is. We'll get the inside of our card done first and then we'll finish the outside because this is going to go really quick if I don't mess it up, which is a possibility. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa Johnson. I thought it was really clever too. So there was a little story behind this. When I made this card, right, and I was sitting there and I was playing with it, and I'm like, wow, cool. And then I thought to myself, that would be awesome if I had a record spinning back and forth, right? So that's where this idea came from. First thing I'm going to do here, again, this is my three and a quarter by four inch whisper white piece. And I am going to stamp my guitar with just black ink. Any kind of ink will be fine. And I'm going to stamp it right in the middle. And then I'm going to turn my paper around and I'm going to stamp it on either side. Let's see if I can get this straight because I had to do this twice last night. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, I did really well. Okay, that's like half the battle. All right, then we're going to come in with our classic label punch. And we're gonna do the same thing we did for the other card. We're gonna leave a little bit of space over here and you're gonna punch and then move it over. Make sure you're pushing it all the way in. See how much space did I leave? About a quarter of an inch. And we're gonna do it again and we're gonna turn this around and we're gonna put it in there and punch again. And there we go, because we need that channel to be just a little bit wider. Here we come with our pony and our dimensionals just like this just like this and then I'm going to add another dimensional to the top of the penny the other one had mini glue dots on it this one's gonna have another dimensional and you're gonna feed this in just like that okay and then I am going to add my record to my penny. So I'm just going to center it on here. And now I'm going to come in with some more of my foam adhesive strips. I know Melody, right? I was like, when, so when I saw the guitar card, Melanie just said, I had that punch and never thought to use it for a slider. Yeah, slider or spinner card. And I'm like, I know. Like, when I saw the guitar and I thought, gosh, this would be awesome as a spinner or slider card. I call it a spinner because it spins around. Um, then I thought, what could I use for that channel? And that's when I looked over at my stamping um, punches, which are all right here on my wall, visible. It's one of the really important things about your stamp room is your stuff should really be visible. Because if you see it, you're going to use it more often than if you hide it away someplace in a drawer, right? So that's why I like to have my punches, my ribbon is all visible. The only thing that really isn't visible is my embellishments. Well, that's a little trickier, right? So, um, now I'm just going to put a couple pieces on my outside layer, just like I did for my other card. And this is where if I was doing a YouTube video, I would keep putting this together and I would edit this out so that you didn't have to watch me do something that I've already done. But live doesn't work that way. And now I'm going to peel this. Oh, hang on. I forgot to do something. Darn it. Ugh. I've got these two strips. I need to do these two strips on here. And here's what I did. I just added them to the back of this piece. And I actually did it with tape. I shouldn't have put these pieces on here yet. Mm, and they are so sticky. Let me see if I can get this on here. Yeah, I just added them with tape. Because that's just the easiest way to add something really small like this. This is a little bigger edge than I wanted it to be, but it'll be okay. Um, hang on. See, when I start yakking, then I forget what I'm doing, right? Who else does that? Oh my gosh. I'll just get some new pieces here. Here we go, here we go, and then the same thing down here. 
We're going to put this on here and here, and I don't like how close that is. <laughs> yep, I'm pretty picky about stuff like that. So I'm going to tape this on. See what I'm doing over here. It's actually a little bigger than I want it. Who knew this was going to be the hard part? There we go. And then, oops, I thought I, didn't I have another piece of tape? I guess not. There we go. That looks, that looks pretty even, doesn't it? I think so. Okay, we'll put a couple more pieces like this on here, and that'll that'll help to hold this up on the edge. Are you guys still with me? Is anybody sleeping? <laughs> this is the painful stuff that you have to watch on a live video that I like, like I said, to edit out so that nobody falls asleep. We want to keep this rocking right along, but you guys can clearly see that sometimes things are a little more time consuming. Okay, here comes my card. I'm just going to center, oops, I see that my edges are sticking out a little bit here, you guys. So you know how anal I am, I can't have that. It's as bad as coloring with markers. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, I love, 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 love this card. This is like my, my brainchild from the guitar card. So, are you ready? There's the record. Holy cow, I love it. <laughs> so now you see why I was laughing in my studio last night when I was playing with this because it is amazing. This one has a little bit thinner margin on my um, glimmer paper. But again, it, it's these are just super, super cute. So let me bring the whole pile back in here. Let me get some of this cleaned up. Um, it's always such a mess when I get done creating stuff, isn't it? Here we go. We've got our guitar cards. And, I'm, I mean, our record cards, our guitar cards. Here comes those. This is using the Epic Celebrations stamp set. Free during celebration. Don't forget that. This paper is also free during celebration, the Bubble and Fizz Designer Series paper. And then we've got a Good Day stamp set that we made these cards and some baby cards and also our little pizza box. What do you guys think? How did I do? Um, Beth said, what did you need the three fourths inch circle for? Okay, that's a great question. Behind this hole that I poked in the middle of the record, I used that punch to glue it on the back. Just a little, you could cut a little square too, it doesn't matter. I just used a punch so that I won't see my white dimensional through there. So that's why I use a three quarter inch circle. You could just cut a little square and glue it on the back. So, I know, and I can't stop playing with these. <laughs> Super, super fun. So I originally sat down and I was going to make a different kind of a moving card for you guys tonight. And um, I was watching a video to learn how to make this moving card. And that's when I decided to do a spinner card with the classic label punch. Don't forget about that punch. What did I do with it? Here it is. This is an awesome little punch. You can see I use it here and here. Um, where else did I use it? I thought I used it again. Oh, um, on these on these cards right here. Awesome little punch. You need to get yourself one. So remember, share my video. You guys that are leaving comments, and even if you can't watch the video live, when you come back to it and watch it later, you can still leave a comment. You can still share the video to get entered in drawings. You can always place an order. Um, Orders can be placed on my blog, which is www.astampabove.com. And when you go to that, um, that website, in the right-hand column is a 
online order button. You just click on that, it'll go right to my store. And then here is the February host code, CQA24JUZ. And you wanna use that when you're placing your order. Anytime you're placing an order, I always have a host code. That's also found in the right-hand column of my blog. So anytime you can go to my blog and find that host code. And um, you will always be entered in a drawing to win prizes when you use that host code. So make sure you're using it and sharing my video. And yes, Julie, you do need that glimmer paper now. It is amazing. Thank you, Charlene. Great tips. Thank you. I really had a lot of fun coming up with this stuff. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention to you. I've had a couple people who um, have asked me to do, ha have some requests. One of the requests was from, let's see, where did my little list go here? Um, Susan Simon asked for get well cards. And so I have that on my list of things and hopefully I will get to that next week. Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Time right here on Facebook Live or um, possibly the next week. But I will make some, some get well cards because we really need them right now. There's a lot of people. This is the season to be sick, which is sad. Knock on some wood. We don't need none of that. Um, and then Patty Hall asked me to um, use inked embossing folders for some cards. So she wants to see that done. And Patty, I will work on that and try to get that done for my Facebook Live next week. If you have any requests, anything you've seen, anything you'd like me to show you, please leave it in the comments. I do read all your comments. So please um, leave it in the comments and um, I will take it into consideration and see what I can come up with. And Linda, you're asking, my friends are only relatives. Is there a way to share to stamping groups instead? Well, I think if you belong to a stamping group that you um, can copy the URL once I have finalized the video. And if you know how to do that, you can copy that into a um, stamping group. If you don't know how to do that, you can private message me or instant message me and I will tell you how to do it. Um, I don't know if the stamping groups would like that, so you need to kind of check with them also about that. But sharing it to your friends and family, you never know who might be interested in stamping. So I really do appreciate you sharing it to your friends and family too, um, Linda. So keep that in mind. Um, Shelby wants get well cards and sympathy cards too. Bernice, thank you for sharing. Denise, thank you for sharing. Um, oh, and Cindy Jo, I got her hooked on Door County Coffee and Tea Company, so that's hilarious. I did a really cute project with our clear um, card boxes and some Door County Coffee at Christmas time, or it was fall actually. Um, Claudia would love to see ideas and tips for using embossing paste. You know what? I've been thinking about that, Claudia, and um, I will work on that because that's something that I want to do too. Where is my, here's my, here's my list, priorities, embossing paste. Okay, that's a great idea. And that's from Claudia. All right. Yeah, Lisa. Lisa knows about Do Door County Coffee, right? Um, can't think of anything else right now, you guys. As always, I really appreciate your watching my video. I have had an absolute blast with this Facebook Live thing. Um, I think I found something that works really well for me. It's It's been super fun. And I appreciate your taking time out of your busy evening to watch my video. I always appreciate that you're commenting and sharing and sharing my love of paper crafts. Um, Watercolor pencils, that's another good one. Mary, I like that. Where did that notebook go? Watercolor pencils, okay. But thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I produce two videos every week on Wednesday and Friday at the very minimum. You're gonna see a video on my blog. Wednesday is usually a tip video. Friday is a whole project. Um, you can find me on, at you on YouTube. Um, just look up Kelly Atchison and you'll find my channel. I've got, I don't know, there's something two, 250 to 300 videos on there for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> and uh, thanks, Karen. An enjoyable Sunday evening. Me too. I loved it. You guys have a great week. 
And um, don't forget to use that hostess code if you're planning on placing an order. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.